Byron Woods and Pat Richards have returned to training with West's Tigers after being released from quarantine following an outbreak of staph infection at the club. Captain Robbie Farrar, however, was nowhere to be seen on Thursday, but coach Mick Potter expects the representative hooker will be cleared before their season opener against the Dragons. Yeah, that'd be ideal and um, we'll just we'll give him right up to the last minute and um, yeah, we're confident he'll be right. Potter is confident he won't have to make any late changes for Sunday's clash at ANZ Stadium. Among those named is former Bulldogs duo Martin Tapao and James Gavay, who are set to make their club debuts. They've earned the right to, to be in that position, so uh, I'm looking forward to seeing them play and, and give them a good account of themselves and it gives the fans an opportunity to see them in the, in the top grade and, and you know, they'll add some value to us. 23-year-old Gave suffered a foot injury not long after arriving at the Tigers last season and struggled to make it back into the starting lineup. The Auckland-born front rower is nervous about running out for only his second NRL appearance, but excited to be sharing the experience with good mate and fellow forward to Powell. He got to, you know, he knew a friend and me coming on board, so it was good transitioning for for um, for him to come to the club as well. So yeah, it's good to see a familiar face. He's a clown though. <laughs> While the Tigers still have quite an injury list, key personnel Keith Galloway and David Nofaloma are among four players due to return for round two. Train travel to ANZ Stadium for the round one afternoon clash is included for all Tigers and Dragons members as well as all regular ticket holders. Amy Lindsell, NRL.com.